tender, juicy, and smoky pork butts on my Pit Boss Austin XL. This is the best pork butt you could pull off of any pellet grill. Make sure you watch this video all the way to the end. I'm gonna show you how I do it. What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Nick and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I smoke my pork butts. There's so many different ways that you could do a pork butt, but today I'm just gonna be smoking it at 250 degrees and some hickory pellets and I'm just seasoning it with some barbecue rub. So without further ado, I'm just gonna get to work and you guys get to watch me get to work. All right, so the first step that we're gonna be doing today is we're just gonna be trimming off some of our excess fat. As you guys can see, there's some of this fat here that I really don't want. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take and kind of trim off some of this excess fat. It's just some of this stuff that I think is not really gonna render down too great and be kind of gristly on there at the end. And some of this stuff right here looks like silver skin to me, so we're just gonna continue coming along down right here, cutting towards our hand. So again, I'm just gonna kinda keep repeating myself over and over again, saying the same old stupid things because when I'm trimming up meat, I'm really focused and I have a hard time coming up with words to say. So I think that looks good to me. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to flip this whole thing over on its backside. And as you see here, we have a really big fat cap, but we're not gonna trim this off. All we're gonna do is we're gonna score it. And we don't wanna go too deep. We just kinda wanna make a nice little score. So you can see like that, just kinda come across all the way down our fat. And then as soon as we kind of get it good this way, and we're gonna come back along the exact opposite way and score our fat this way. And again, try not to go too, too deep and you don't have to be too particular. Just kind of wanna make this look like a nice little checkerboard. And this is what it will look like when it's done. Now, after you're done doing that, go ahead and wash your hands or take off your gloves so your wife does not get, yell at you for getting your pork cans all over the mustard bottle because we're using mustard as a binder. Just kind of shake this up a little bit and uh, we're just going to squirt this on here. Now, our goal here is not to get this super, super lathered up. Our goal here is just to get this coated good enough so that our seasoning will stick to it. So with that amount that I squirted here on top, I was able to kind of coat all of my sides with it. So this looks good to me. So today we are gonna be using salt as our first seasoning. So we're gonna season this up fat side first and I wanna be careful when I season this to not put on too much salt because there is salt in our rub. And I know you guys probably can't see that at all because the salt kind of just like melts right into the meat, but that's about how much salt I'm putting on there. And I'm gonna do this on all of our sides. So it's gonna come along on here and get our salt. And we're gonna get this side with some salt. Then we're just gonna come around over here and get some salt on that bad boy. So this seasoning comes out very, very quickly and it's very, very thin. So when you do this, you wanna make sure that you kind of start off up high and then you just apply a nice little coat along the top. And again, make sure you get your sides. So there we go, got that side. Now I'm gonna flip this upright and I'm gonna make sure that I get this side also. Now we're gonna come along and get this side. And I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing me say this side. And last but not least, we are going to get this side. Get it all nice and seasoned up. All right, so as you guys can see here, the places where I put my fingers uh, kind of got rubbed off a little bit. As you can tell, it's, you know, that sticks to my fingers. So I'm just gonna kind of lightly come back and try to hit up a few of those spots so that way everything has some rub on it. So now as you guys can see, our pork butt is nice and seasoned up. Let's get it flipped over and repeat the process. And this time we don't need a whole lot because we're not seasoning up our sides. Remember, we already seasoned up our sides. So I'm gonna call that good right there. It looks like that's gonna be just perfect. So let's take this and get it all lathered up on here. Now this is gonna be our meat side. So let's get this seasoned up real nice and good. So now we're gonna come in with our salt and we're gonna get a nice little layer of salt going across the top. Now we're coming back along and and we're just gonna rub it on there real nice. And I'm just gonna give this a good little pat. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna try to find the spots that I think look a little weak on seasoning and hit them up one more time before this actually goes out on the smoker. So this looks pretty good to me. I'm gonna go ahead and fire up my smoker. I'll see you guys outside. All right, so we're out here at the Pit Boss Austin XL. I already turned it on. I got hickory pellets in here. I turned it up to 250 degrees. We're gonna smoke at that temperature throughout the whole entire cook. All right, so I'm gonna open up this bad boy. As you see, it's smoking real nice. And I'm just gonna pick this up. And if, as you guys can see, I am putting this fat down. And I'm putting this fat down for really no good particular reason. That's just what I'm deciding to do. And 
Yeah, this looks really great to me. So I'm gonna go ahead, let this sit on here. I'm gonna come out about every hour to two hours and show you guys the, the process that we are making here. So when it comes to smoking pork butt, there's a few things that you need to accomplish to actually have good pulled pork. The first thing that we need to do is we need to render this fat. I can't tell you how long that this is gonna take me to smoke today. I can't tell you at what temperature I'm gonna pull it at. I can't tell you what time I'm gonna wrap it at because this is solely dependent on how the meat reacts to the smoke and to the heat. A pork butt might have more fat on it than another one and it might render faster than another one. Each cook is independently different. I don't think any of them are going to be 100% exactly the same. So what we're looking for today is for this fat to be fully rendered. When I should be able to poke it and it should be able to just uh, be sticky and mushy and at that point that's when we'll wrap it and usually that does happen around like 165 to 170, 175 degrees. Somewhere in that range is usually when it happens but we're going off of the meat today not time or temp. So we're going to go ahead and let this sit on the smoker. I'm probably gonna let it sit for the first two hours because I know I'm not gonna need to do anything between them. So at the two hour mark, I'll see you guys next. We're out here back at the smoker. It is the two hour mark. We're gonna open up our pit, take a look at it and see how we're doing. So here we are. Here's what our butt is looking like. And if you take a look at this, this is looking really, really nice. We have really good bark starting to form. It's obviously not formed yet. It's trying to get a little bit of split action, which is good. That means that this fat in here is starting to begin the render process and if you take a look at this fat on the bottom still nice and jiggly so it's definitely not rendered yet but this is starting to get dried out a little bit right here if you can feel this uh the rub is not coming off at all the rub is set on there real nice so we are safe to start actually spraying this so what i have right here it's just a little sprayer of apple cider vinegar and i just want to get the spray all right it's a good little all right here we go so we're just going to spray this down we're gonna get uh, all of our sides. And the reason why I keep the fat on the bottom is because you don't wanna spray the fat uh, with this. It'll cool it down and you want the fat to stay really nice and hot so that it renders properly. But we are gonna go ahead and spray the top. And there's no real good science to this. Uh, you just kinda wanna spray it down. And obviously, you don't wanna get this thing uh, soaking wet, you know, to where it's like super soaking wet, but um, you just kinda wanna get it to where it prevents the skin, the bark here from getting like super dried out. So I'll go ahead and give it a nice little dust and uh, we'll call this good right here. We'll come back out in one hour and take another look and see how we're doing. This is the three hour mark. Let's open it up and see what we're looking like. Well, I think this is starting to look really, really nice for the three hour mark. I'm gonna go ahead and check the fat on the underside, see if we're rendered. I, I highly doubt that we will, but hey, we're gonna check it anyway. I'm just gonna take my hands and kind of poke at this and still pretty uh, bouncy has a lot of resistance still our skin is nice and dry so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a nice little spray down again just gonna go like this just kind of get the sides just gonna get that back side And we'll call that good right there. So I'll see you at four hours and we'll get the shut down. Four hour mark, let's get in here, check it out. All right, so as you guys can see, this is starting to get a nice color on it. We still probably wanna let it go about a good couple more hours or so just to get that black bark on there real nice. I am going to put some more rub on here now and let's go ahead and check out our fat. And it's getting better. It's most definitely getting better, but it still has quite a bit of a give to it when I, when I push into it. Um, rather than letting it just like kind of melt in. That's when the fat is rendered is when it's melted. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some rub on. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of come in here and just kind of go over some of the spots that, you know, some of the rub is starting to disappear. Just get like right in these little cracks. And this really isn't necessary. It's not gonna matter at all when it comes to the flavor. Uh, the only reason that I'm doing this is because I'm making a YouTube video and if this doesn't look super pretty, you guys don't click on it. And so I want this to look super pretty. Like if you're maybe in like a competition, you do this, but if you're just at home, absolutely not necessary. So it is getting a little dry. I just put seasoning on there, so I don't want to get it too wet. Just going to spray that down, get her sides. Backside in here. 
We're getting closer to wrapping, but we're not there yet. We need the fat to be rendered. We need our bark to have that nice black looking color. I mean, it doesn't need to be a black looking color, but you guys know when you see that good barbecue, like a brisket or a pork butt or beef ribs, that nice outside color, it just adds so much to the barbecue game. So we're waiting for that. We're waiting for the fat to render. This is only the four hour mark. I'll see you guys in one hour. I'm gonna get this shut down and we're good to go. All right, here we are at the five hour mark. We're gonna open it up and see what we're looking like. All right, so our bark is starting to look really, really good. We're not quite there yet. I'd like to see it get just a little bit darker. But as you can see, this fat is totally starting to render. It's starting to release the juices. And let me lift this up real quick and take a feel. Yeah, we're not quite there yet. It's still a little bit uh, bouncy, but I could tell by this right here, it's starting to drip off. That means the fat's starting to render. This is looking really, really nice. Yeah, I'm really liking how this is looking. Yeah, that right there. You can tell the fat is starting to, 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 to burn off and to render real nice. So what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna give this one more spray. And I'm thinking probably when we come back in one hour, I'm thinking that this will be ready. I'm gonna spray this down really nice and good because it is starting to get pretty dry. I don't want the meat to be dry. That's nice and good. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this shut down. And when we come out in one hour, the six hour mark, I think we'll be pretty close to wrapping. But if we're not, we'll let it keep going. The meat will tell us when, uh, not time. So we're gonna get the shut down. And I'll see you guys at the six hour mark. All right guys, we're at the six hour mark now. Uh, we might be wrapping it. Let's open it up and take a look and see how we're looking and make the decision. So as you guys can see here, we got a really, really good bark going on. It's starting to look really, really beautiful. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead here and lift this up. I got my spatula with me now because things are probably getting really, really hot in here. So I'm gonna lift this up and give it a poke. And it's still kind of kind of resistant. I don't think our fat is completely rendered yet. And I'm just gonna go ahead and poke this. And it's looking like we are getting close to 160. So we're definitely gonna need a wrap soon. But honestly, I'm gonna let this go for about another 30, 45 minutes. And then we'll make our decision then. All right, so we're here at the seven hour mark now. I actually went ahead and skipped the six and a half hour mark. I took a quick peek at it. Thought it needed a little bit longer, but it's been seven hours now. We're gonna get the temperature and look at the bark, check the fat, all that. Let's get started. All right, so as we can see here, this is looking absolutely beautiful. This bark is looking really, really great. I can tell that this fat is getting nice and rendered. We're gonna get it wrapped up and we're gonna put it back on the smoke. All right, so don't freak out over my wood right now. Um, this is, it's really windy, just trying to keep it cut. So when we wrap this up, I'm gonna make sure that we wrap this up really nice and tight. So I'm just gonna take and press along the sides. I'm gonna move that piece of wood. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fold this side up. I'm gonna fold this side up. I'm gonna spin it this way. And now I'm gonna close it off. Just about right here in front. And then I'm gonna take, and I'm gonna fold this back like that. And that way I know that it's uh, really nice and sealed. And if I need to open it to check the temperature, I could fold it out, open it up like this. So this is closed up real nice. Let's get that crunch back up. Let's get it back on the smoker. Uh, my goal today is to get this to be extremely probe tender. So I'm gonna put this back on here now and I'm gonna nestle this off to this side over here because this is this is the hot side of, of my smoker. So now we gotta shut down. Uh, what I'm gonna do next is I'm just gonna let this run for about maybe 45 minutes. Uh, I'm gonna come out, I'm gonna poke it just to get what temperature is at. If you guys have a probe, this is where you would insert it in there and kind of wrap it up around that probe. So yeah, thanks for sticking with me guys and I'll see you guys in an hour. We are now at the eight hour mark. We've been wrapped for one hour now. Let's go ahead and see what our internal temperature is, see how easy our probe is going in and out and we'll see if we're ready to take it off and let it rest. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead here and kind of very carefully move this so that way I don't rip the foil. And I'm using a heavy duty aluminum foil. I have two sheets uh, just to be careful because I've ripped these before. And as you guys can see, there's uh, some like juices that are starting to pool down here. And if you rip this, it will spill out all those juices. This is help keeping our pork butt uh, moist and tender. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick that right in there. And I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but it's starting to look pretty good here. It's still got quite a bit of a give in it. 
or 186 degrees so i still think we might even have a whole other hour 45 minutes somewhere around there uh wow we're looking feeling really good in here we're at 190 um 195 right here so yeah i'm gonna give this about another 45 minutes or so and in the thickest part we're still looking at about 186 right there so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this back up i think we need to wait about another 30 ish minutes or so or or something uh along that ballpark i'll probably come back out honestly in about 45 minutes because i know a whole nother 15 degrees i don't think that's gonna happen in 30 minutes but around the 45 minute mark i think i'll have a better feel for that and at that point that'll be about the eight hours and 45 minute mark so i'll come back out at that time so we're at the eight hour and 45 minute mark i'm gonna get this uh temperature red and we're gonna see if we're hitting in that 200 range right when the meat starts to get really tender so let's look at it all right so i'm just gonna kind of pull this out of here very very carefully i don't want it to rip on the bottom and this is really hot if you have gloves this would probably be you know a good time to do that oh it's really hot in there yeah this is kind of probably feeling to me like we're gonna be getting real close here you can see that right there at 198 and it's starting to feel really really nice that's the bone right there so we're gonna go on the side right here 197 and right here in the small part this small part's done right here i mean this feels like absolute money but this big part back over here still needs i would say probably about a good 15 minutes or so still i, mean, I really i really don't want to just take it out because one part of it's done but so i'm just going to wrap this back up in 15 minutes i'm pulling it off I'm not even to take the temperature I, I know that the, the temperature will be fine i've done this enough times to know that another 15 minutes and this will be good to go so it was hitting right around 198 really really close uh in some of the fatter parts it was on that 202 range and the thinner part of the pork butt but i really want that uh the, the bigger part and in the internal to be hitting that super tender when i pulled the probe out um it had just a little it's almost like it's trying to suck it in just like a little bit and you want it to just slide right out and right in that way when you let it rest and it suck in, sucks in all the juices again and then you go to shred it apart and i know i'm fat i like talking about food but this is almost done i'll see you in 15 minutes all right ladies and gentlemen the moment you have all been waiting for we're ready to take this off sadly you're not gonna get to see what the inside looks like just yet because when i take it off i'm gonna let it rest for one hour i'm not gonna put it inside of the cooler i'm just gonna let it rest outside of the cooler i don't need it to steam or anything like that it's already in the foil so it's gonna steam by itself in there so i'm gonna let it rest for one hour i'll see you guys at that point it'll be 10 hours and it'll be ready to slice into this dig into this eat a whole crap ton of it and go to sleep early because i'm really full so we'll see you guys in one hour okay we are back inside now and this has been a total of 10 hours um we had it smoking for nine uh the first seven we just had it unwrapped then the next two hours we actually had it wrapped and then that uh after the ninth hour it was ready to come off so we took it off let it rest for an hour now we're at the 10 hour mark and i'm gonna go ahead and unwrap this and show you guys what we're working with and we're gonna do the bone pull see if we can't just pull this bone right out of here and you see it comes clean out uh barely anything left on it i mean you might have like one little straggler piece right there but i'd say it's pretty good uh, it's the bone's still really hot so i'm gonna transfer this out of here and then we'll start to pull it apart all right so i took it off my little tray and put it on the cutting board just so you guys can kind of see what we're working with here see what we got going on and as you guys can see this is really nice and wet and moist this is looking super super good look at this piece right here i mean that's just beautiful that fat is rendered so nicely as you can see the fat's nice and yellow it's not white and gristly it just breaks right apart that's how you know you got some good rendered fat right there is when it's nice and yellow it falls right apart and uh, i'm gonna take a bite of this right here i don't know if you guys can see it has a little bit of that rendered fat on there it has some of that real nice smoke some nice little bark so i'm gonna give this a go and i hope it turned out great let's see Mm. wow I did, a, I did a good job the last like three four videos that i've done been like really short easy smokes things that's kind of really hard to mess up it's been a little bit since i've kind of ventured into another big piece of meat and it's always disappointing when you cook a big piece of meat like this and it's kind of dry or it doesn't have great smoke flavor in it but when you smoke a piece of meat like this it turns out good it's very moist which i like the pork has good flavor i think it's seasoned perfectly i mean just take a look at that bark 
got some like epic little bark going on there has some really nice smoke in it and so i'm just gonna go ahead and just put this up into like a little little meatball and Somebody serve this at a party for me. I wouldn't be mad. Not at all. Yeah. Wow. So for you guys that are making this at home, just remember, if you're following along with me, do not do exactly what I do. Don't just copy 100% exactly what I do. You need to let the meat speak for itself. I'm just making this video as a guide, sharing how I do my barbecue, when I pull things, when I wrap things, how I kind of, you know, go about the whole process. So I hope these videos are helping you guys out a lot. I'm just gonna keep eating. I'm talking, hope it doesn't bother you guys. Anyways, I don't know what I was saying, but if you make this and you like it, like how it turns out, let me know down below in the comments. I'd love to interact and talk with you guys. I love all the positive feedback that you guys give me. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel. We are really, really close to a thousand subscribers. And when we do get a thousand subscribers, we're gonna be posting a special video me and one of my friends are just going to barbecue a bunch of different stuff and mix it all together. And we're just going to have a big old feast and share it with you guys. And if you're watching this video, let's say a year down the road or even four months down the road, and we already hit our 1,000 subscribers, well, just look up here or look up there. I'll try to post it somewhere, or you could just find it yourself if you're really that curious. So with all that being said, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys also have a great day, night, or whatever time it is when you're watching. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.